For sooth I say unto thee most verily, mine kingdom for a horse piece. Alas, my knight, brave Sir Thaddeus, hath disappeared upon the very hour of our mated check. But the Blackheart King must pay for his insults upon the personage of our beloved queen. I beseech thee, find our missing knight. That twill not go unpunished. Wait, is that how you use the word twill? Nay. Indeed. I will not have my honor besmirched by a lowly creature such as he. Now, fair warrior, if thou should find our errant champion, do relay that his noble queen longs for his triumphant return. If thou wishest to hurry forth, then seeketh thou clues as to our lost soldier's whereabouts. But if thou wouldst tarry a moment and hear the tale of our kingdom's woes, then speaketh unto me. Found me some loot. of such said trade. Seek him out! Yes, of course. But wait. Why carrots? It must be the equine part of him. Specifically his head. Horses love carrots. Does not everyone know that? I know much about beasts, but even I did not know that. I see. Not everyone grew up in a castle. <laughs> named Thaddeus. Is that you? <laughs> I do not understand you. Ah, oh, thou doth not hail from these lands, and must not know the Chessian tongue. Luckily, I know yours, and in this base language, I must say something of such great urgency that I cannot delay but for one more moment in relaying the content of this warning to thee, my lord. <laughs> Thou must flee this place post haste, for the dreaded rook known as Mokdan Urga shall return ere long, seeking violence, no doubt. Tis as I feared, he comes! Steal thyself. That's the spirit! Oh, 
you see me? Shrouds to my lord. Quickly now, while the hour is ripe for egress. Thou must free me. I am ever in thy debt, thou mighty slayer of rooks. Come, let us depart from this foul place at once. I knew there was a reason I kept you around. Tell me, how did you end up captured? Alas, the shame of capture is outweighed only by my shame at the impetus for my departure. The violence, the bloodshed, the moving in L-shaped patterns, it all got to be too much. So I deserted. To follow mine heart's true desire. Dance! Surely you jest. Would that I were, but alas. When Mokdan Urgash came upon me, I challenged him to a dance off to win my freedom. He laughed mercilessly as I expressed my innermost truth through the art of movement. Then he beat me onto the brink of sense and imprisoned me. That seems inadvisable. Indeed. Now I have but one choice, to throw myself upon the judgment of the king and seek his mercy. Come, tis not far now. You return with our beloved Thaddeus. It warms my heart to see thy countenance again, brave Sir Knight. Brave perhaps, but perhaps not. Why dost thou say such a thing? Speak plainly. Instead of fighting as a soldier, he wishes to dance as a dancer. I see. I understand, Sir Thaddeus. I, too, have certain passions that I would have pursued were my life to have taken a different path. But the skirmish must continue. Thou, who hast proven thyself most brave and capable, wouldst thou take Sir Thaddeus' place upon the field of battle? I will do this for you. Happily. King's reign of monstrous terror is no more, and also, he shall never again spew such foulness about anyone, especially me. Now come, brave warrior, address your king. I, as ruler of these lands, wish to bestow the highest honor upon thy brow. Kneel, if thou wouldst receive it. In recognition of thy deeds this day, henceforth ye shall be known as a knight of the realm. Rise now in glory! I accept this honor of knighthood with humility. Thou art always welcome in our lands, and wheresoever thy travels may lead, thou highs with the blessing of the queen. Fare thee well, brave knight. Now as for thee... <laughs> 